June 1st. He will be an amazing father. Sisters returns. Are you kidding me? And you won't believe. It's getting good. What's coming? We're going for a minimum of 15 years. Tyler Perry's Sisters returns June 1st. Catch up now on demand and the BET Now app. Ask and ye shall receive, Sisters fans. Yesterday, we finally got a teaser. Teaser. And I, and I can live with that because maybe this means next week we'll get a full-blown minute-plus-long Season 4B trailer. But <laughs> this teaser right here has Zatima fans pissed. I got to give props to the editing team, uh, uh, you know, at Tyler Perry Studios or whoever constructed this promo because I think the beautiful part is the dramatic irony the first scene in this promo we have Karen and Aaron at the doctor's office and you know this is what we fans have been looking forward to I mean I, I even if you are you know as a team of fan or if you want Zach and Karen to be together or if you're a Karen fan and you don't like how uh, certain fans have been talking about Karen I think collectively we all have wanted Karen to go to the doctor to not just confirm how far along she is, but more importantly, at least in my opinion, determine whether or not she's actually pregnant. But as the promo goes on, it seems that nothing is going Zatima fans way. I mean, at first it's like, yeah, Zach, get him, get him. He's tackling Hayden. Yeah, get his ass. But then you realize right after that, Fatima is being put into handcuffs. Then the next scene, we're at the jail, and it looks like a, a lawyer or, you know, somebody who's on the side of, you know, Zach and Fatima and or, you know, wh whichever one is in a legal bind right now says we're going for 15 years and that's the only, that's the main thing everybody is talking about. What the hell does it mean when <laughs> that person said we're going for a minimum of 15 years? Oh hell no, Tyler Perry, I'm pissed off. I know you ain't about to have Zach and Fatima arrested. 15 years, they both might as well get married in jail. Well, guys, let me tell you, I'm here to break this teaser down because though it may be. Well, technically speaking, not even 10 seconds. If you subtract, you know, the parts of the promo where it's like, you know, Tyler Perry Sisters returns June 1st and all the cutaways to like BET Tyler Perry Sisters. This promo was give or take about eight seconds, but it gave us a lot, which just has me excited because just like with Bruh, you know, they gave us a little uh, teaser and then the week of the show's return, they gave us a full blown minute plus long trailer. So Yes, I believe next week we should be getting a minute or extended trailer. That's just my opinion. Now, the opening segment of this video was a bit much because I'm just that excited because you all are excited. I got to give a special shout out to um, some of my followers here because you all wanted me to do this video yesterday when it dropped, but at the time I only had available the trailer that people recorded from their televisions which i could see i could hear but i'm like no 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 there's so much going down i need like hd quality if possible not even 15 minutes after i tweeted that out over 30 people sent me pretty good quality trailers so that's why i'm here today because yesterday i recorded well over 20 videos catching up on all the ruthless content and um I didn't have a voice last night, so I do now, but here we go. Just so you know, aside from breaking it down, I will be using information from season four casting from various acting websites, as well as um, IMDB's episode descriptions for some of the future episodes in season four B. So, I mean, technically it's spoilers, but I will be using them in the context of describing what we saw in the promo, just putting that out there. And of course, I might do breakaway videos from this trailer. Hopefully this video does well because it's our first sister's content in quite a while that isn't just speculation. So let's dive into this promo. All right, so the first scene we have in the promo is, as I said earlier, we have Aaron and Karen 
at the doctor's office for her appointment. And of course, you can tell for two reasons that this is the checkup on her pregnancy because behind Karen, we have a chart that says reproductive system. Sorry, I was watching Grease 2 yesterday. It was on television, so all I could think about is that song. Reproduction, reproduction. If you remember that movie, you were OG. All right, so aside from that, the doctor who based on the cast listing is Dr. Deck. Dr. Deck is Karen's, look, I can't say the name because it's a complicated word, but basically baby doctor, she lets her know how far along she is. So Dr. Deck. And the funniest part about this is the way <laughs> Karen and Aaron react when she points over at Aaron, when the doctor points over at Aaron and goes, he'll be an amazing father. The look, like Karen's mouth is just wide open. Aaron is kind of smiling and he's kind of chuckling. Like <laughs> and then the way that she turns over to Aaron is kind of like, I could see it now. Oh, uh, he's not the father. Bet money, that's what she's going to say. That's exactly what's going to happen here. But uh, I want to try to pinpoint when this takes place so going off of imdb we know that in episode 12 we know that in episode 12 based on the next episode preview at the end of episode 11 aaron's going to show up at the salon and you know karen's just still there's no way you can be that baby well science is science but then we go over to episode 13 shaking in the rain andy helps her team out of a bind we'll get to that soon enough as karen receives some troublesome news so it's quite possible that in episode 12, that's where we get this scene of the whole, you know, oh, he'll be an amazing father. And then in episode 13, that's when, you know, we'll still be at the doctor's office and Karen receives the news that, you know, maybe the baby won't be born healthy or perhaps that she's not pregnant. Or remember, Karen receives some troublesome news. Notice it doesn't say Aaron. So you could see that Karen could be up there, you know, claiming Aaron isn't the father. Oh, it's somebody else, Zachary Taylor, yada, yada, yada. But the troublesome news to her could be receiving that, hey, you know what? Aaron's timeline actually matches up perfectly to what we've come across in terms of how far along you are. So unless you've had outside sexual partners between this specific date and this specific date, Aaron is definitely the father of this child. So keep that in mind. All right. So then the next scene we have here, uh, Fatima is sitting in and clearly Andy's office because you could tell with all the flowers, she's wearing white. The reason I say white is because, well, keep pay attention to that. Now, I, I'm not going to lie here. I cannot remember if this is a reuse scene or not. Actually, it is because in the midst of thinking, wait a minute. Went back, looked through my old screenshots. This scene with her saying, are you kidding me? This is from, I believe, right after the whole Hayden parking lot scenario thing. And then Andy's like, wait, is that, what's that red stain on your uh, outfit? Oh, wait. Oh, it's nothing. Yada, yada, yada. So, uh, yeah, that's a reuse. I think there's another reuse scene, but I'll mention that when we get there. Uh, at first, when I saw this scene, I'm like, oh, maybe this is new. And the reason that Fatima's going, oh, are you kidding me? Could be the fact that Andy talks about the whole, well, Gary came over to the penthouse and I said, I'm going to let Robin stay. And you can imagine Fatima will be like, are you kidding me? But no, this is a reuse scene. All right. So at the law firm, this is the part that has me going, oh my goodness. We see Andy and she's like panicking because Zach is charging at Hayden picking him up and close observation to me it seems like zach is about to like hurl hayden down a flight of stairs now you know andy's right behind him trying to like you know de-escalate the situation and i'm just the funniest part to me isn't the fact that uh you know zach is picking up hayden and possibly about to toss him down the stairs like a rag doll it's Hayden's composure, the fact that, you know, he has his hands, you know, in front of his uh, chest, you know, holding his hands together. And then as the closer Zach gets, notice how he lifts up his hands kind of in a come at me, bro stance because he knows Zach is going to be triggered. It's just one of those situations where 
you know what? Hey, I know you could probably kick my ass and whatnot, but guess what? You are going to jail. So I was laughing so hard at this, but, um, you know, like I said, it's just a matter of the fact that he was so composed and, you know, the, the vows pass in professional football. It's like, you know, he, he has been living for this moment to tackle somebody on one of these shows. And I love it so much. And of course, the fact that it was um, Hayden of all people to get this tackle is so awesome. But like I said before, uh, I'm afraid because it, it seemed like, you know, Zach is heading for the stairs. You know, that flight of stairs, if he's going to fling Hayden down it or if he's going to, you know, like just rolling tackle where he's going to tackle and he's going to go down the stairs with him. I don't know. But it's also a callback to last season, I believe. You know, when Gary was popping up at the law firm and, you know, he was going to try to make his way to the back uh, to see Andy, even though Hayden, I mean, excuse me, even though Fatima was like, no, 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 you ain't doing all that. And um, she was like, look, I will throw myself down this flight of stairs and make you catch a case. So I wonder if that was clever foreshadowing about what may happen to Hayden. So it's interesting how he went from no, not wearing, no, excuse me, not using crutches anymore to possibly being beaten so badly. He's going to have to have a freaking, you know, a body cast. But uh, moving on to, let's see here, the next scene. Mm -mm -mm, folks, folks, Fatima in handcuffs. I know before there was that brief scene where Danny's at the airport going, um, this getting good. I feel like this is a scene that we've already seen before. I think, uh, when she's invited over to Andy's, I mean, yeah, because, uh, I think Karen said she wanted to talk with all the girls. So I think this is a reuse scene. So we're just going to skip over that and we're going to talk about Fatima in these handcuffs. Now, back on April 26th, when they announced that the date would be moved to June 1st, there was the one promotional photo of Hayden, and he's kind of standing in front of Fatima. Now, notice she's wearing the same dress. Look, I know the lighting might be different, but I'm pretty sure it's the same color. Um, she's wearing the same dress in that picture that she's wearing when she's being, you know, um, arrested. It uh, looks like there's two officers. It looks like one of them might be holding her purse and then the other is the one who's uh putting her in the cuffs and something else to mention is i think that well i can't see hayden's tie but then again i don't think that he's wearing the same um suit combo that he was wearing when he gets tackled by zach i cannot be a hundred percent sure but I don't think that's the case because I think in that scene with Zach, he's wearing like a blue shirt and a blue tie. But with Fatima, we can only see the collar of his shirt. It could be blue. I, I, I could be wrong here, but I don't think this is the case. I think the tackling scene comes later. And um, I'm thinking that Zach tackles Hayden because, you know, he finds out Fatima got arrested. But look, I'm still in the camp of Fatima committed a couple crimes destruction of property and trespassing some people like she didn't break into hayden's home because she didn't i mean she the door was wide open yeah but that's still trespassing and she had a blunt object i don't think she's going to whack either gary or hayden with the bat but that was some gangster shit that's going to get you some legal repercussions i don't care how much i love fatima as a character you don't do stuff like that especially if it turns out that um uh hayden is actually innocent now in regards to what she's being arrested for again i think it has to do with the whole you know busting up his car and whatnot um i don't know if it has to do with the whole beating him and leaving him stripped down on the uh you know on the hood of his car we'll have to wait and see how that plays out but i'm guessing uh going back to episode 12 goodbye at the door fatima makes a rash decision that could have repercussions she's not ready for then in episode 13 shaking in the rain once again Andy helps Fatima out of a bind as Karen receives some troublesome news. So again, Andy helps Fatima out of a bind and it's possibly getting her out of this situation where she's been uh, apprehended by the police. Now the final scene, we go over to the same interrogation room as before where Zach got the news about his kid. Uh, well, excuse me, allegedly the three-year-old boy that he's being you know, hit with child support for. We have Fatima wearing a different outfit. I think this is a... Uh, a dark green or something 
and we have Zach in a white shirt sitting down. Now, the lawyer, who I believe from behind the scenes cast information, uh, this is D.A. Jefferson, the district attorney who informed Zach and Andy, his lawyer. Notice how Andy's on his, uh, you know, off to his side while you have Zach and Fatima on the other side of the room. The district attorney informed Zach and Andy, his lawyer, about the severity of Zach's most recent arrest. And that's when it said, we're going for a minimum of 15 years. Now, I don't think he got arrested for child support because he already did that, you know, last uh, earlier this season. I'm thinking he's being arrested for assaulting Hayden at the law firm because it's a building with witnesses and it's a law firm. So, yeah. And also notice that Zach's wearing a white shirt. And if you go back to when he tackles uh, Hayden, you can see he's wearing a white shirt underneath his, uh, I think his, uh, you know, open button-up shirt, you know, when he grabs Hayden. So I'm thinking he gets arrested right after that assault, which again, I'm thinking he attacks Hayden for getting Fatima arrested. And as a result, he's in legal trouble. Andy tries to represent him. And remember, she's not like a criminal lawyer. She works in like divorces and whatnot. So that's why she probably has the DA Jefferson, you know, um, trying to work things out. Not to mention she's a partner at the firm, which is something that is rarely mentioned. So she probably has some, you know, pull to know the right people in 15 years being the best they can do. Now, it's interesting how infuriated the fan base has become by this, despite the fact that we know Zatima is coming in the future and like i said before it would make zero sense to have zatima air prior to sister season four ending so regardless of all the drama and shit they're going through now zach and fatima are going to be all right but they got a ways to go so with that being said um that's really all i got to say for this video it's almost 20 minutes long but keep in mind 15 seconds or as i mentioned before maybe about eight or nine seconds of new footage there's still a lot to talk about so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, this is going to be intriguing because, well, definitely Zach is going to get out of it because look at this, look at this. Episode 18, Enemy of Mine. Hayden is consumed with finding out how Zach keeps escaping jail time. Zach is in a different tax bracket now. He has resources and he knows people that he didn't know when he was broke. So that's probably how he's able to avoid jail. But yeah, let, let's see how it ends up. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit subscribe and hit that bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel.